program designed to keep you aware and informed on what's happening in the world of faith and family entertainment. My guest today comes to us all the way from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Uh, Hannah Ratnam is a fourth generation Christian born and raised in Pakistan. After facing persecution and an increasingly dangerous political climate, she was encouraged by her mother to leave the country any way she could. Now God opened a door that, so that she, her husband and daughter could immigrate to Canada where they live today. Inspired by the many miracles she has experienced, her goal is to become, to, uh, her goal has become to share God's voice through film and any other medium that God can use. Hannah, welcome to Faith on Film. Thank you. Now, I, I read up a little bit on you and I know, I think you've written several scripts, right? Yes. But there's one specific, I think, that you're really very passionate about. Um, is it called Hannah's Dream? That's right. Well, can you tell us a little bit, before we even get into the script, can you tell us a little bit about your life, kind of how you got into this script writing and, and maybe a little bit about uh, the, the persecution that you experienced in Pakistan? Um, as you have already read my bio, um, I'm in BC, Canada. My um, in intentions were not to write anything. It was God who told me to do that. I'm not a writer. I was never into writing. Uh, God sent me a script writer through Facebook. Book. Uh, her name is Shelley. And then we joined together and she wrote actually a beautiful script for me. Um, my English is also a gift from God. I never studied English in my life. So this is first time I'm doing everything in my life. Oh. Hannah's Dream is a story uh, which is based on my dream I had on 19th September 2013. Mm -hmm. And in that, God showed me a place, white color church. And in that church, there's a whole congregation full of um, children and women mainly. And there was a lot of event happening. And I was there when I was seeing everything. And all of a sudden, a bomb blast. And I saw those people who were trying to enter in the church. Oh, wow. And I told everyone to close the doors. Before I say close the door, they already suicide themselves. So I got up and I was scared and I said, I think this is my people. And I told my husband and I prayed for five long years for this dream. I didn't know that this will go that far, this far. Mm -hmm. And um, after five years, God gave me Habakkuk 2.2 and he said, write on a big uh, plates. I said, there's nothing placed like now. There's nothing like that right now. What do I write? Where do I write? So I took a book, a journal, and just started writing in it. And later on, um, when I met Shelly, I gave it to her what God told me to write. And there we became uh, the friends and we wrote the story, Hannah's Dream. Oh, wow. So literally, Hannah's Dream is your dream. That's right. Wow. Now, um, why is this story so important to you? I myself has faced so much persecution in Pakistan. Mm -hmm. um, there are different kinds of persecution. One is they blast your church or they will um, destroy the building. That's like a physical building. There is another kind of persecution, which is mentally, emotionally, at the work, in the college, in the universities, everywhere and anywhere you name it, there is persecution. And we are called citizens of Pakistan, but we have no rights. We have no equal mm. rights with the others. Wow. You know, you're in Canada, I'm here in America, and, and, and I tell you, we don't know what persecution is here in America. But at the same time, while I'm seeing everything that's happening right now, I don't think we might not we might be that far away from reaching that level of persecution as Christians here in America. What how is it in Canada? No, we don't have anything like that in Canada. Thank God it's safe and yes. sound. When I say persecution, I don't know when I leave home in Pakistan whether I will come back or not. No one knows. We just go every day by faith 
uh, mm -hmm. praying ourselves and covering ourselves in the blood of Jesus and leaving everything in God's hand. And then we move. We don't know anything, what will happen on the way, in the school, in the college, in the university. There could be a kidnapping. There could be a murder. There could be a bomb blast on the way. There could be a rape. Anything can happen. So it's so unpredictable that you can imagine. The persecution level is all kinds. Wow. You still have family there in Pakistan? Not really. They all moved out. Oh. But I have my brothers and Christ uh, brothers and sisters right. in Christ. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Well, now I know this script that you've written has actually earned a lot of awards, hasn't it? That's right. I can show you it's on my living wall. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yep, that's a lot of awards. That's fantastic. Well, <laughs> there are more coming in. I did not um, put some of them on top uh -huh. because I have to make a bigger uh, wall now. <laughs> <laughs> you have to make a bigger wall for the, all the awards. <laughs> that is a great attitude to have. Uh, Thank you. I, as you can see, I have pictures, but I don't think I have any awards yet. Maybe it's because I haven't submitted. Well, anyway, I, I digress. Uh, so, what is your um, what is your plan right now for for your uh, script? We have moved to second level. Uh, God made possible that we finish the script. It is awarded. It is recognized mm -hmm. all over the world. Now we are in the second phase of pre-production and production. So we are applying for a lot of fundings in oh. BC. And also we are um, we are already prepared with all the pre-production part. We are looking for sponsors, donors, mm -hmm. and production company. If uh, anybody can join and help us make this movie so this can go till the end of the earth. All right, well, I'll tell you what, let's take a, let's take a quick break right now. And when we come back, um, you can tell us a little bit about, a little bit more about kind of where you are in the process right now and uh, uh, perhaps how people can partner with you, all right? Thank you. Folks, don't go away. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Faith on Film. We are here today with Hannah Ratnam, and I want to make sure I get that name right. Um, so, Hannah, why is it important for, say, the believers, for Christians, to perhaps join you and partner with you in making sure that this movie actually gets made? It's a body of Christ, which I'm working on. Mm -hmm. It was not me who wanted to make this dream, or it was my idea, or people write scripts. It's nothing about like that. It was completely supernatural story, mm -hmm. which God gave me directions how to go one by one, which I did. I followed exactly what he asked me to do. By God's grace, I have never thought that we will come to this far. Um, we are in that phase where I feel that I'm asking, I'm appealing body of Christ mm -hmm. to join us because it's about the persecuted church. It's about the children, the women, or, or the underprivileged people who are not heard. They are crying every day. I can hear their voices. I can see their faces. Wow. Even the dream is still in my eyes. If whenever I pray, I can see those faces. And uh, even today I have dreams about things. Um, I'm just saying, please come forward and help because it's not about me, my film or my project. It's about God, God's body of Christ. His bride has been persecuted. So it's important that everyone understand as a believer that we are, we are entitled to take care of each other. Mm -hmm. I noticed you said that you still have have dreams. Is is that a way that God has chosen to speak to you pretty regularly is through dreams? Yes. Well. Thank God for that. It's <laughs> it's his grace and mercy. I could God gave me messages which I just write in my journal uh -huh. for now. But uh, when real time comes and maybe people wants to know more, I would love to make more movies on those. Okay, yeah. Um I found that when God speaks to me, usually 
I don't know if it's necessarily in a dream, but usually it's at a very early time in the morning, like three in the morning. I'll wake up and I'll, I'll have a thought in my head, which I know it's God because it's not something that I've even been thinking of. It just, it just kind of showed yeah. up. Uh, this show, for instance, uh, God, I, I woke up at like three in the morning with this idea, do a show and interview people in the faith and family film industry. And I thought, mm -hmm. well, I've never even thought of that, you know. So I knew it was God. I don't know why he chooses to speak to me at three in the morning, but he does. Maybe it's because that's when I really would be paying attention. Um, why do you think he speaks to you in dreams? He chose his people. Um, it's written in Joel too that in the last days he will um, all old people will have dreams and mm -hmm. young will have visions. And this is the time when God is choosing cho choosing people where He needs His bride his people to get messages. There are a lot of prophets even in before in the Bible. They had dreams, they had visions, they had messages, direct messages. Even Jesus was there. He was telling mm -hmm. everybody. So it is our job to testify till the end of the earth. So do you think then that um, films, and by the way, I, I talk about films and, and uh, really all kinds of, I call it entertainment. So I've never thought of films just as a sermon in a in a box a sermon in a film i think of it more as entertainment that you know we we as humans need to be entertained um, but i think what we're needing is entertainment that is good for our soul that feeds our soul you know that keeps our soul healthy uh, do you find that perhaps uh films would is, is really what we need in our culture right now to kind of maybe steer us back uh, because the culture is, is uh, I mean, I hate to say it this way, but it's like going to hell in a handbasket. Yeah. And, and, I, and I find that a lot of it is because of what we're watching, what we're hearing, um, which is just feeding us all this uh, propaganda that, that is really mm -hmm. anti-God. Do you think that uh, films is something that we as Christians really could use? Is it something very important for us to be a part of? 110 percent because in hannah's dream uh -huh. what i have we, how we have started we have shown a little bit of uh, pakistani culture and then me and angelica my daughter i'm telling her my uh, not exactly right away dream but mm -hmm. i'm telling her how pakistani christians are treated in pakistan including me that's what i'm teaching her i'm giving her ideas i'm giving her back and forth uh, dialogues mm -hmm. and in that we are sharing thoughts because she's born uh, not in Pakistan she don't know nothing about Pakistan so I wow, I want cool. to transfer my um, I would say legacy so my four generations should know who her mother Where was so legacy has to go on and if mm -hmm. I die tomorrow if it's not my tomorrow's day meant for me from God then something is there for my generation for others for many people who will come to know True, true, true. <clears throat> I'm Hispanic, and uh, I, I do feel that we also need to have some uh, some good movies, some good entertainment that puts a good light on the Hispanic culture. Because usually it's been uh, pretty negative. You know, if, if the Hispanic roles are either you know uh, I don't know busboys or gardeners or whatever, and, and uh, we, we need we need some good role role models uh, in films for Hispanics. And I imagine it would be the same thing for uh, then Pakistanis. Uh, in fact, there, right. isn't re there isn't really a whole lot of uh, movies and, and TV shows done about Pakistanis, is there? I'll be the first woman. <laughs> I'll be the first Christian woman, first wow. time filmmaker and with color. Um, I have uh, many qualifications to get the application, funding applications, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure how much I will qualify for the money because first it's a it's a faith based movie and Canada is not like too much into faith stuff. Uh, things are drifting from here, but I'm still my my focus is not just money. I want them to read. When they read my story, they should know what is going on. So all these awards is not just because I wanted the awards, but I want yes. them to read the story so they know what is going on. All right. So let's say people want to follow you. They want to maybe write you. They want to connect with you. How would they do that? 
you have my website, which is www.hana, H A N N A H, and the same name, Ratnam, R A T N A M dot com. They can email me. I'm on Facebook. I'm okay. on Instagram. Any anything which is comfortable and easy for you, you can contact me. Hannah, thank you for uh, being on the show with me today. And uh, I look forward to just keeping up with what you're doing and seeing when the movie's going to be ready. And I'll have you back when the movie is out. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening. And thank you all of you for watching this show.